least a, a busy session there, changeable conditions, representative though, you'd have to say, of this afternoon and tomorrow. So quite a useful one. I mean, what did you gain from it? Yeah, it's, it's tricky. I mean, the, the tracks, uh, the, the where they've resurfaced, it's very, very slippy. And you can see it's, it's all about trying to get the tires into the right window. So trying to get the temperature, then the track dries out. It's trying not to kill the wet tire. So it could be a really fascinating qualifying of, of just getting that timing just right. How much of a session like that is just the driver getting used to the conditions? I mean, what can you do? What, your en what can your engineers do to help with setup and stuff well, like that? Well, of course, that? you, you can... You can uh, play with the wing balance you can play with the mechanical settings and I think what you want to be able to do is to give a car that doesn't do anything nasty that inspires confidence that they can predict and they can read and and uh, you know what we see with Max he's able to get to that point very very quickly and you can see with Checo you know after lap or two he gets that feeling and uh, uh, that's the most important thing I think for any driver particularly a track like this you want it to be predictable how important was it to get those laps in the bag before qualifying you expecting these kind of conditions for that session as well I think it was very useful, particularly with the surface that uh, it's been, I think, sector one and sector three that's been resurfaced. I think just for the drivers to get their references, to get where the grip is, where it isn't, for the engineers to get a bit of knowledge about the tyres, what the prep needs to be. So, uh, so yeah, it was a, a useful session because I think there's, there's more of this to come. And Russell managed to get in there in P2 today in that session, albeit with a drying track. Who's your main threat, though, for qualifying? How impressed were you with the McLarens over a single lap? I mean, they, they faded in the session, but they looked very quick at certain points, and uh, it, it's, it's impossible to tell. I think Mercedes have strapped every bit of downforce they have on the car, um, so they're running, you know, sort of Monaco levels of downforce. Um, and of course, you've got to think not only about today, but also about tomorrow if it were to be a dry race. So it's, it's finding that, that balance, but grid position here is, is very important. We saw the car spend a long time in the, in the pits, in the garage, uh, during the wettest part, when it didn't look quite as dominant as it was at the end. What, what was going on there? Just set up adjustments? Uh, just adjustments, waiting to see where, uh, you know, which way the track was going. At one point, it was a bit too wet for for inters, and the last thing you want to be doing is is having to repair the thing just before quality. So it's sort of trying to pick your moments where you can learn as much as you can and give the drivers a bit of a feel as well. And can you give us any more on Daniel Ricciardo's recovery? We know he's out for the rest of the weekend. Have you been given an indication how long the recovery process will take? Well, these guys, uh, you know, we see it in MotoGP. Um, you know, they bounce back pretty quick. So he's he's headed off. Uh, uh, today to Barcelona. Um, they may even um, have a little operation on him tomorrow um, to uh, to just tidy up where that break is. It's quite a clean break. Uh, and then, of course, it's all about the recuperation and how long that takes. Um, any normal human being would probably be about 10 to 12 weeks, but you know we know that these guys aren't aren't normal. Um, so uh, so it'll, then all it'll all be about the recovery process. How long that will take. You know, is it going to be three weeks? Is it a month? Is it six weeks? Nobody, nobody really knows. I guess the problem is these races are coming thick and fast now, and he he wants to be able to get them under his belt yep. as part of his comeback to Formula One. Yeah, I think that's the thing he was most frustrated about talking with him last night was that he's you know, just taken a bunch of time off, just got his mojo back, getting him back into it, and now he's <laughs> now he's on the bench again. So uh, that was, I think, his frustration. I think he felt that the car, you know, they, they've started to make some progress and. Uh, uh, yeah, you know, it's shame for him, but uh, I'm sure at the back of his mind, he's probably got Singapore as a target. But then again, Singapore is probably one of the most so physical yeah. circuits on the on the calendar. But uh, you know, nature will take its course. You um, obviously most of your focus is on Max Red Bull, but over your out of the corner of your eye, did you see or can you comment on your impressions of Liam Lawson's efforts? In, uh, in the yeah, afternoon? I mean, look, difficult circumstances for him. Focus isn't just on Max; it's also on Checo as well. Of course. Um, yeah. But uh, you know, Liam. I mean, wow, that's uh, that's a tricky scenario. I think you had it once where you get dumped in, not even a dry track. You know, horrible conditions, a slippy circuit, a track that bites if you. Uh, if you make a mistake, and uh, uh, you know he he looked pretty wide-eyed last last night, but I have to say, I think he's done a pretty mature job so far, and uh, it's just seat time. He just needs more, you know, more time in the seat, and it'll be unfair to judge him. I think in this in this quali, definitely, yeah. You know, in terms of lap times, I'm really not judging him at all. There, I've said just to approach it in a professional way. But from your side, I know he's not in your team, but he's one of your drivers at Red Bull. 
what's the advice been? What, what has advice come his way from you or Helmut? Yeah, no, look, I spoke with him last night. He said, look, just feel your way into it and uh, try not to put too much, uh, you know, pressure on yourself. And I think that, uh, you know, what, we, what we've seen with him, he did a very good job for us in Abu Dhabi in, uh, you know, in free practice last year. Um, he's versatile. He's jumped into DTM cars and been, been quick and a winner. He's won in F3, he's won in F2. He's a very versatile, he's a pretty hard driver. And I think, yeah, he'll, he'll, he'll find his feet. I think, he'll, I think he'll do just time, just fine, you know, given, given a little bit of time. And bringing it back to Max and Checo, how are you feeling kind of going into qualifying? And when you look around and recognize this, the level of support that he has here, it's quite remarkable, isn't it? Well, it's nuts. It takes it to a whole new level, and I think, you know, Max is just trying to keep his head down and, and uh, ke keep focused on, on the weekend. And, um, you know, whilst there's a huge amount of expectation and, and pressure on him, but he's just sticking to the same process, to the same routine that we always have. And, of course, it's all going to be about trying to read the conditions and, and be on the track at the right time you know, in these uh, in these quality sessions. And, and this qualifying is a very important one, isn't it? Because overtaking is not easy at a circuit like this. So well, tight It's, it's a little bit like Budapest round here. I mean, quality is important. And I think that, uh, you know, it's a matter of coming through the, the different different rounds, reading the conditions, making sure you're on the track at the right time. And what we were seeing, you know, in that session, it takes a few tires, for, a few laps for these intermediates to, to get up to temperature. So I think you'll see cars, if it is wet, doing lots of laps and then inevitably there's going to be potentially yellow flags and, and red flags so uh, yeah it's a few obstacles great stuff thank you for your time all the best today go thank and keep warm and, and talking of clothing they say if you dress for it you can achieve anything in life well lewis hamilton has given us a decent